Hello everyone, in this video uh, I'm basically going to be going over all my all fast food chain 94 builds uh, and this is just part one um, and there's a lot of builds to go over. Um, also, um, I did actually make uh, this kind of video in the past, um, I think this was like uh, not exactly two years ago but almost two years ago um, I made a video um, basically like giving my like re basically reviewing all of his builds that I've built so far which is pretty much all of these almost uh, I actually made a couple more things um, after that video but but yeah um, you guys should go like shout out to all fast food chains 94 man he's an absolute legend um, you should go subscribe to him if you haven't already um, he does some great content on his channel uh, so if you do want to make these um, for yourself, uh, go check out his fast food tutorials playlist. They should all be in there, but, um, but yeah, let's just get, uh, straight on into this. So, first one we have here is Wingstop, his first tutorial. Um, now it's actually been two years now since this came out. Now, I don't, I don't actually remember, um, like, I don't know if I've met him before he uploaded this. I feel like, I don't, yeah, actually, no, I don't think I have. Yeah, so I don't think I met him before... Yeah, because I met him in July 2020, and it's June, and it's two years old, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, here's his wing stop. It's a really nice build, um, mainly because of the design. I like how um, it, like, almost looks like um, like the wing stop logo. I don't know. I always say this. Like, it always reminds me of the wing stop logo. Um, I also like the slab design he's got up here, I like the green roof. I like the combination of white and green, and then the birch at the bottom. Within, and then it's got, like, the black accents here on the windows. Absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm not going to spend too much time on each build. Uh, I'm just going to basically give just a quick review on them. Um, but yeah, overall, really nice build. Um, I'm not going to rate them, like, out of 10. I don't know, just, I just don't feel like doing that. Um, but yeah, there's Wingstop, pretty cool building. Uh, next, mm, excuse me, next we have Johnny Rockets. Um, Johnny Rockets is also pretty cool. I've, I've never personally been here. I, yeah, and I also don't think I've ever been to Wingstop before, so. Um, yeah, first when I saw this, I never heard of Johnny Rockets, um, but now I know that it's some sort of restaurant. Again, I've never been there. Um, uh, but I do like this design. Um, I like this, what he's got in the middle here with the red wrapping around it. Uh, I like the combination of the birch and the cyan concrete. I really like that. Uh, then I like what he's got going on the bottom. I like how on the bottom it's like dark materials, but then as it goes up, it's like brighter materials. I don't know. I like. I just like that mix, and it's got like the red in the middle. I don't know. Just something about it. It's just really nice. Um, and then the slab wrapping around it, I think, is really cool as well. And also, by the way, there's no interiors for any of these buildings. I never. I did not make an interior for any of these. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I don't know, just, I really like the colors on this one, uh, I like the design, really nice building, um, so yeah, good job on that one. Next, we have Dave and Busters, now this one's a pretty big one, this is one of two of his, like, really massive builds, the other one being Walmart. Um, now, Dave and Busters, uh, I do, I have been to before, I went there for my birthday, I think it was in 2020, yeah, it was the beginning of 2020, um, January 2020, just before COVID, I remember going there. Um, pretty fun place, uh, I've never actually had their food, um, but I've had, I uh, played, the, you know, at the, at the, at Dave and Buster's before. First of all, I like how big the parking lot is, I don't know why, but I just, I feel like it's necessary, because I feel like most Dave and Buster's have big parking lots anyways. Um, so yeah, you can like, you know, park, park up, you got like, um, I don't even know how many spaces, uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 30, okay, so 32 spaces, so, um, so yeah, that's quite a lot of spaces, I'd, that'd be honestly a good amount, um, I also like the lights he's got in the parking lot, I like the bushes, um, yeah, I really do like these bushes, though, I really like how there's just lined up here, and I like the flowers in the middle, just kind of greeting you to the entrance, uh, and honestly, I like the size of this building, um, I mean, Okay, I'm gonna be honest, it's honestly, it could honestly be smaller, <laughs> if I'll be honest, but <coughs> it kind of reminds me of TSMC's older buildings, like, when they were, like, really big. Um, of course, not saying that as in, in a, and not, you know, saying that in a rude way, obviously, it's not a bad thing. Um, but I do like the size of this building, I think it could be smaller. Um, but overall, really nice building, um, so... 
yeah, good job on this one. Next, we have, oh gosh, I don't, oh, actually, wait, that's not the next thing. Here we have, the, yeah, the actual next thing here is his sauce machine, which uh, is pretty simple here. You just press buttons. Oh, I don't, I don't actually have anything in them, but basically, you press them, and then just some dye comes out, which is meant to represent sauce. Uh, but yes, this is a sauce machine. He's like, we got mayonnaise, mustard. Um, not much to say about this. It's really simple. I like the design. Uh, I like that you can just fit it in like any restaurant as long as you got space. It is fairly big. Um, uh, but I'm, but you can always make it smaller, like to where it's only like two options instead of three. Um, if you need to, um, which is helpful. So I like that you can customize the size of it, how, you know, how big you'd like it to be. Um, but yeah, just really nice looking machine. Um, there you go. There's the sauce machine. Alrighty, now we got El Pollo Loco. I've never been here before. Um, yeah, all fast food chains struggled with this one. Goodness. Um, I'm surprised he hasn't actually redone the tutorial. Uh, it's been, again, almost two years since he uploaded this tutorial. And, uh, yeah, I'm surprised I was actually able to make it, you know, with all the mistakes that he made. Um, but, you know, no hate, obviously. Um, you know, I've made tons of mistakes. I still... I remember my Habit Burger tutorial, my Hooters tutorial, those were, ugh, nightmares. I think also the Pizza Ranch tutorial was a nightmare as well. I'm sure there's plenty others. You know, I'm really not that great at tutorials. Um, the Universal tutorial on the Crafty Apple channel is, you know, kind of hard to follow. But, you know, it's, but enough talking about that. Let's talk about this building. First of all, uh, what I really like um, is that the drive through has, like, a cover over it. So, I mean... <clears throat> I don't know, just for some reason I like that it provides like shade, I guess, and I guess it wouldn't matter if you were rain if it was raining, because I mean your car has been in the rain anyways, but um I don't know, I just I don't know, I just like for some reason it's just I like that it's just in like shade. I don't know. And then I like that he's got like flowers wrapping around the the outside here as well. Uh I like he's got I like how he's got outside eating areas here. He doesn't, you know, include that in too many of his builds, so it's nice to see that he's included that here. Uh, I like how he's got a path with flowers greeting you to the entrance. Um, and I like how on the inside it's got like a window in here, um, even though most people would probably just fill this up and put a ceiling. But, you know, uh, if you wanted to, you can put like some sort of skylight or use this as some sort of skylight. But, yeah, I like that. He's got a little window there. Overall, the design of the building is really nice. Uh, I also like how under here it's also got some shade, especially like if it's raining, you can come under here and make sure you don't get any more wet, um, but, yeah, so, you know, just overall, really nice building, um, really like it, there you go, all right, next, we have another one that I've never been to before, <laughs> most of these I haven't been to before, so I'm just gonna keep saying that, uh, Fazoli's, um, I'm, I'm assuming it's an Italian restaurant, um, just by the name, um, but, I mean, it's, I, I really do like this build, he said it was based off of my Dairy Queen on, uh, not on Crafty Apple, but on this channel, um, so I, I can see why, I mean, I can see it, you know, I can see the tower in the middle, I see how it's, like, got, like, it's coming off on, like, both, there's, like, two, like, I don't know how to explain it, but there's, like, <coughs> like, two faces of the build, if that makes sense, so there's, like, an entrance there, and there's, like, an entrance here, so there's, like, almost, like, two front walls, if that makes sense, I don't know, but I like how it's, like, in a corner, basically, so you could put this in, like, if you're making a city, and you had, like, an intersection. This would totally go in, like, the corner of an intersection. That's just, like, perfect for that. Um, so I really like that. Um, overall, I like the design of it. I like the red, how it just wraps around the, like, top of the building. Uh, and then I also like this bush that he's got here, just wrapped around the front of the tower. And then, of course, the flowers greeting you to the entrance are always nice. Um, I like the red and green uh, canopies. I'm... Still not sure if that's what they're actually called. The coverings of windows that like are go like are like above the windows. Excuse me about my glitchy game, but yeah. So overall, really nice design on this building. I also really like the uh, this this top here reminds me of IHOP, like TSMC's IHOP, like how it comes to a point at the top. Uh, I really like that, like how it's green and everything. Uh, just I really like the colors on this one. The design's really nice, um, and just overall, really nice building. All right, next we have his old Long John Silver, uh, Silver's. Now, unfortunately, he's deleted this tutorial, so you won't be able to um, see it, so you probably won't be able to make this building, unfortunately. Um, but, yeah, so he ended up redoing it. I have it built down there. I'll show you guys that in a minute. Um, 
but yeah, so I mean, it, it's honestly a really nice building, but I can honestly see why he redid it. Um, it doesn't really look too much like a real Long John Silver's, in my opinion. Um, you know, and it's honestly a little big. I would, I imagine, like, I imagine Long John Silver's being like a fairly small building, like a smaller building. Um, you know, but overall, I mean, it's still, I mean, a really nice building. Uh, I like how on the side it's got the word Long John Silver's. I'm assuming he. Uh, that was inspired by my Buffalo Wild Wings, uh, because my Buffalo Wild Wings, it also has the text going along the side of the wall like that. Um, and then I also, again, I like this little, um, cover here. So, like, if it's raining, you can stand under here. If it's really sunny, you can stand under here for shade, get cooler. But, yeah, so I like that. And then the bushes, again, bushes are always nice. Adding plants in front of the building always makes it look really nice. Um, I like how he's got, like, um, chiseled quartz, and then he's got, like, the iron, uh, so, like, in the corners, he's got the chiseled quartz, but everywhere else, it's iron. I just, for some reason, I like that, and then I like how the birch, like, wraps around the bottom of it. So, pretty nice-looking building. Um, I also like the middle, how it's got the blue, like, pyramid-like roof. Uh, I like that, but, again, I can definitely see why he redid this. It just doesn't really, rem it just doesn't look too much like a real Long John Silver's, but um, still a really nice building. Um, so, yeah, good job. All right, next, uh, oh gosh, I remember when uh, I made the review video and I struggled with this one. because I didn't make it right. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still a bit sick, but strong cup machine. Click to get a straw. I don't think I loaded it. I may have built it wrong again. Oh gosh. Okay, no, I actually did build it right. Okay, where is the... Okay. <coughs> so... I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, load this up for you guys, because this is actually pretty cool. Um, I'm going to make sure I put these in the right dispensers, but but yeah, so the, uh, I'm going to make sure I actually build this right here. Let's make sure we fill everything up all the way. All right, so say you want a straw. Uh, look at that. It like slides out. I really like that. Look at that. Dude, that is so cool. It just slides out like it's legit like sliding out of there. I don't know, just for some reason, I mean, it is really big, I don't know if I'd put this in a restaurant, but, <coughs> let's see, I have, like, a really big restaurant, but overall, I mean, just really nice, I mean, it's just, I, again, I love how um, it just slides out, like, it just, it's just so fun to watch, like, I don't know, it's just so amusing to me, um, so yeah, again, not much to say about this one, other than I just really like how it slides out, just out of the machine, um, if you were to put this in a restaurant, I recommend topping this off with slab instead of the block and then the slab, just because it's really big. Um, but overall, again, just really awesome looking building, uh, art building, I'm so stupid, machine. Um, so yeah, uh, good job on that one. Alrighty, next we have Moe's, 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 uh, Southwest Grill. Uh, in the other video I called it, uh, Bar and Grill, my bad. Southwest Grill, I'm not trying to trigger anybody. Uh, again, this reminds me of the dairy, my uh, my Dairy Queen again on this channel. So just like the Fazoli's, if you wanted to put this in like the corner of a four-way intersection, you could totally do that. I mean, it's one of those corner uh, cornered builds, like where it's got two like front faces and then just a, a tower like part in the middle. Um, just really nice. And again, he's got a really nice outdoor eating area out here. Um, uh, this is actually probably, I think this is his biggest, like, outdoor eating area he's ever made. Um, but just really nice. I don't know, just something about it. I just, I don't know, just the vibe that this building gets me. I don't know what it is. I feel like, I don't know if it's nostalgia or what, because I, you know, I remember going to all these, like, grills, bar and grills, Southwest Grill, like, restaurants, and they always got this, like, outdoor eating area and stuff. I don't know, just for some reason, it's giving me a really warm feeling. Um, just really nice. Uh, I love all the, and also there's a ton of parking spaces. You could totally, you know, bring your friends, your family and go eat. Um, and then you got some, uh, flowers on either side here. Really nice. Um, but yeah, overall just, I don't know. I like the colors too. I like the orange tower in the middle and the black and everything, all the dark colors. And then there's just some light here and there, light colors. Just, I don't know, just a really warm building. I don't know what it is about it. It just makes me feel like happy, I don't know, it's like my, the best way to describe it, just kind of nostalgic a little bit, but, <clears throat> like, it just reminds me of going out to dinner with my family, you know, and just having a good time, but, yeah, so there you go, there's, uh, Moe's Southwest Grill, really nice job. Okay, next we have Boston Market, now, when you first hear, when I first heard Boston Market, I thought it was a store, turns out it's a chicken restaurant, uh, 
Boston Market, that sounds like a weird name for a chicken restaurant, but I'm assuming they are not from the United States. Um, I feel like they're maybe Britain, maybe Canadian. I'm not sure what, what country they're from. I highly doubt they're from America, though. Um, okay, so just, where do I start? This building's lit. Alrighty, so, um, so I like, okay, so this building kind of has like a mix of like, um, designs here. So it's got that slab design up top here. It's got, uh, this also kind of design right here where it kind of like comes over and then connects down. And then he's also got the design where it, like the slab wraps around the whole building. Um, then he's also got the design where the stairs wrap around like the top of the tower. Um, but then he's also got like a big window in the middle. Again, it's also got this shade uh, slash like um, umbrella. I'm going to call it an umbrella. <laughs> no, it's just this like cover. You can come under here if it's raining or whatever. Um, it's also got some big windows here, but then he's also got the, the usual like windows that he normally uses like these, uh, not those kind of windows. What am I talking about? Um, like these kind of windows right here where it's like four by or no two by two windows. Um, but yeah, just like a really good mix of like you know, all those, like, designs, like, I don't know, just something about it, it's just, it's just really nice, so, so, yeah, uh, and also, I've never been here or at, uh, to Moe's South Coast Grill, in case you guys were wondering, I've never been to Boss Market or Moe's, but, but, yeah, really nice, uh, really nice, uh, really nice building overall, so, very good. Alrighty, next, we have his car, this is his, I think, yeah, this is his only vehicle tutorial so far, uh, at least at the time of this recording, he plans to do more tutorials in August, um, so, looking forward to that but anyways um what i like about this car is that you can like make it any color you want so it's made out of wool so you can easily make it out of like any fun color you want you can even like mix and match colors uh so i did red with like a white stripe but i think he just did all one solid color so you could totally just do like a stripe in the middle like i did kind of looks like a race car <laughs> um but yeah, I like how it's like an SUV as well. Um, I'm not sure if he intended it, intended it to be like an SUV, but that's kind of what it, what this reminds me of, this big boxy shape. It reminds me of an SUV. Um, but yeah, and I also like how on the back it's got the trip right hook. It reminds me of TSMC's cars. That's meant to be like the hatch for the trunk. Um, but yeah, uh, it's a pretty simple car, uh, which is nice. So you can like easily repeat it throughout, you know, in the parking lots and stuff. Um... But overall, just really nice car. I love just the customization opportunities that it has and um, just uh, would really look good in your cities. So, yeah, very nice job on that. Um, next, we got Roundtable. This was another tutorial that he struggled on, um, just like uh, El Pollo Loco. I've never been to Roundtable um, personally, uh, but it's a pizza place, apparently. So, um, sounds, you know, pretty good. Um, may have to try it if I ever find it. I don't think we have a round table here in where I live, but, um, but yeah, I don't know, just, okay, so I really like this building because of the mix of dark green and birch and then white. I don't know, just, you know, it, it just, yeah, I don't know, just the, the colors on this building look really nice. Um, like the, again, the green, the red, the birch, the white, um, the black even, little bit hints of black, and I also really like how there's, like, flowers completely surrounding the building, like, just going all around here, just completely, just all down the sides, and then he's even got a little flower bush right here, just overall, just very cool, um, the flowers always just make any building look good, um, so, yeah, um, just overall, very nice building, I like the colors, uh, so, yeah, very good job on that one. Alrighty, next we have, I think this is his newer Long John, no, this is his uh, second Long John Silvers, I didn't make his actual newer one yet, uh, I didn't make his newest one yet, but I don't think I plan to, honestly, um, but yeah, so here's his, um, the, um, uh, his second, um, Long John Silvers, um, yeah, so he made, like, three Long John Silvers, the first one, like I said, got deleted, um, but yeah, so this looks a lot more like a Long John Silvers, this is what... I think of when I think of a Long John Silver's, I think of a small, simple building, a little tower at the top. It's got the sign sitting on the roof, like on some pegs here. Um, pretty similar to mine, except mine uh, doesn't have the yellow wrapping around here. The roof is lower. Uh, there's a fish on both sides here. Uh, there's actually, I don't use iron. I think I use some other different material. Uh, I don't use clay here, you know, 
different doors, uh, you know, different, completely different tower, just, you know, some pretty big differences, but, you know, overall, you know, looks really good. Uh, oh yeah, I think the window on mine's bigger too, but, but yeah, I do really like this one. Um, again, like I said, this just looks way more like a Long John Silver's, um, than the other one does personally. Um, so yeah, just, it just brings me a nostalgic feeling because, you know, I remember going to, I haven't been in, I have I, I have been here before quite a few times actually, um, but it has been uh, a long time uh, since I've been here. Um, but it is you know very very uh, very nostalgic uh, building just looking at it. So, um, but yeah, so very nice building. Good job, uh, all fast food chains. Alrighty, last. Oh, actually, this isn't the last thing, but uh, I actually finished this today. Um, this is his Walmart, so this was his 20 subscribers special, so, yeah, so this was back when he had 20 subs, I think he has like 560 something subs now, so he's come a long way, so, you know, props to him, um, but yeah, so we have this really big parking lot, so similar to, uh, Dave and Buster's, it's got this really big parking lot, it's got the, um, flowers going along the middle, it's also got just this huge, like, field of flowers on both sides, um, so really nice, yeah, just, I love how the parking lot's big, because, you know, all Walmarts, you know, really have, like, big, big, massive parking lots like this, and he's also got the cart returns. I like that the cart return, like, sign is a light, so that it also acts as a street light, so you can see it when it's nighttime, so when you're shop, when you're shop, when you've been shopping for the entire day, and it's nighttime, you know, you can see where the carts go, you can see it in the dark, so... Um, but yeah, overall, just, you know, really nice parking lot, and then I like the building, I like how, like, on each side, like, gets bigger as it goes towards the middle, uh, I like the logo that he's done here, um, he's also done some, like, plants outside here, just some, like, plants and vegetables with, like, little, the signs are meant to be, like, advertisements, so I like that, it just adds some detail and some design to the building, and then these are those little, um, poles that are supposed to keep drivers from, you know, driving into Walmart, and turning it into a drive-thru. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I remember these. These are pretty cool. Uh, he's got entrance on both sides here. Uh, he's also got some uh, stuff on the back here. Well, he hasn't had really too much on the back here. He's only got just the garages uh, for the trucks, but still pretty cool. Um, I do like these. These do look pretty cool. Um, yeah, just overall, really, I just, I love the size of the building. I just think it's honestly appropriate uh, for what it is, um, so just very good job, uh, the Walmart that I plan on making, like, for my Crafty Apple channel is probably gonna be smaller than this, honestly, but still, I think that, I don't think he should ever redo this, because honestly, this is a very appropriate size for a Walmart, and it looks really good, so definitely, uh, yeah, definitely don't redo this if you're thinking about it, uh, just don't do it, <laughs> but yeah, really nice Walmart, um, just looking at this makes me feel really nostalgic, I've been to Walmart so many times through my life, so, you know, really like it, so good job on it, um, alrighty, last but not least is his milkshake machine, now I actually have, did, I actually filled this up, so you click the buttons, and, uh, it's like, got vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, these ones on the sides don't work, uh, cause there's no dispensers, um, so yeah, again, not much to say about this, other than I like how the, uh, they, like, go into the cup, that's similar to my milkshake machine as well, like, when you click it, the contents go into like the cup as you can kind of see they're like going into the cup so i really like that and i like the signs up here you can like write you know the flavors uh and whatever so just a simple building i like that you can put this uh in any building or you know any like restaurant uh, as long as it's a, a good size you know as long as you got enough space of course because this is fairly big but of course you can always shorten this to your liking <coughs> <coughs> excuse me um, so you can shorten it to where there's just two flavors, or three flavors, or four, or five, one hundred, <laughs> you know, so, pretty cool, um, but yeah, guys, and that's pretty much it for this video, this is part one of all, all my fast, all fast food chain 94 builds, this was a pretty long video, um, um, I don't think part two will be as long, I mean, maybe it will be, I don't know, maybe it will be longer, who knows, um, but yeah, guys, I really hope you guys do did enjoy this video. Also, huge shout out to all fast food chains 94 for all his hard work over the years with these builds. These are absolutely incredible. So keep them up, all fast food chains. Um, can't wait to see you do them again because um, I honestly do miss uh, you doing these tutorials. So, so yeah. Um, 
that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.